name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the crowning glory of all the saints, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. On behalf of the Diocese of Parramatta, I welcome you all here this afternoon as we gather in the forecourt of St Patrick's Cathedral for the unveiling and blessing of the statue of St John Paul II, founder of the Diocese of Parramatta and father of World Youth Day. It gives me much pleasure to welcome back to the cathedral His Grace, the Most Reverend Anthony Fisher, Archbishop of Sydney and Metropolitan of the Province. My brothers and sisters, as we begin to celebrate this rite in praise of God, on the occasion of the unveiling of this beautiful new image of St John Paul II for public veneration, we must be properly disposed and have a clear appreciation of the meaning of this celebration. Jesus, with the power of the Spirit in him, returned to Galilee, and his reputation spread throughout the countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone praised him. And he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For all young men and women, may they courageously live their lives as faithfully and living witnesses of the Gospel of the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. I spent two years sculpting all the figures. I had models for the uh, children and the rest was from photographs and from footage of John Paul II. He's my favourite Pope. Um, he's the Pope of the family. For me that's really true. Uh, he had a great hand in taking or in the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe uh, and I as a result was reunited with my family uh, with my grandparents who I hadn't seen since I was four years old. I think there are lots of reasons to celebrate St John Paul. The big one for this diocese is that he founded the diocese in 1986 when he decided to split Sydney into three and then he came and visited our diocese. He went to the Transfield factory to speak to the workers only a few weeks after he had founded the diocese. So he's very much part of our story as well as of course the story of the last century and really the whole of the second millennium. Many people would say he was the greatest man, the greatest Christian of the second millennium, certainly of the 20th century. He's the father of World Youth Day, he's the apostle of the new evangelization, and Pope Francis has named him as the Pope of the family. Actor, athlete turned scholar Pope, destroyer of communism, champion of freedom, advocate of peace and reconciliation, champion of the civilization of love, enemy of the culture of death, friend of the poor, voice of the voiceless, force for Christian unity, friend of Jews and Muslims, father of World Youth Day, apostle of the new evangelization, millennial pope, faithful servant of God. Through an unusually long papacy, John Paul II left us an unfinished symphony. At the dawn of a new century, a new millennium, he handed over the baton to us. Like Moses, who saw the promised land, 
but didn't enter it himself. So John Paul, dying just on the edge of the new millennium, just crossing over, he charged us with going forward in his name, in Christ's name, assuring us by his very motto that we need not be afraid. God bless you. Congratulations.